Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Bubble Croix. Today we are in Roma Castle, which is a maze. And I don't think I'm going to be talking to everybody in Roma Castle because it's just a bit ridiculous. There's so much to do and see, so I'm just going to hit the high points. Talk to people who matter, like the king. Ah, Jilva, where'd you go? Excuse me. Your Majesty, my name is Pietro. I came here from Popolo Croix. Huh? I don't have time for this. Wait a minute. Pietro? Are you the hero of Popolo Croix's kingdom I've heard so much about? Your Prince Pietro? I guess. I was just doing my duty. So what brings the hero Pietro to Roma? I apologize for being so preoccupied. I understand. The children of Popolo Croix have been kidnapped. What? Kidnapped? Oh, Jilva. Is Jilva okay? Is she being held captive? Oh no! That's more than I can bear! Tell me, what happened here? I'll tell you. A villain known as Steel Devil is at large kidnapping children from Popo Village. He's also abducted my dear daughter Jilva. He lives in a very strange castle, some kind of devil's castle. I've sent troops there many times, but they were unable to do anything. So, just like Roma, the children of my hometown have disappeared the same way. We came here hoping to find some clues. You did? It wasn't enough to ransack Roma. They also went to Pope Lacroix. Oh, Jilva, I'm so worried about her. She must be so scared. <laughs> I love this. His, uh, you know, what he's actually imagining about her. Hungry and miserable, locked up in her cage without any food. Yeah, I don't think that this is happening to Jilva. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Pietro's like, yeah, you're a loon. Your Majesty King Waltz, we'll go to the Devil's Castle. You will? Oh, you're true heroes, true heroes indeed. Uh, please, I'm not a hero. Your only hope, save Jilper and teach that Steel Devil a lesson. Uh, okay, sure. But first, I want to ransack your castle. So first things first, we're going to head up behind the throne room and uh, look around in here. If we go up through here, we can find... Uh, it looks like her... I guess this is Princess Jilva's bedroom, I'm assuming. Or maybe it's the king's bedroom. But anyway, then there's like this little special bath or something over here. we got a forest rain. And uh, then we can go out of here and down these stairs... And, uh, yeah, this is more likely her bedroom, considering there's this huge portrait of her right there. Yeah, it's a portrait of Princess Jilva. Yeah, so maybe this is the king's bedroom, and he's kind of, like, you know, worried about his daughter, so he put that there. But, uh, let's see what this is. Oh, Princess Jilva's missing, and I remember how Queen Roomba was when she was young. How could I forget? Well, Queen Roomba ran away from home many times and caused all sorts of trouble. That's why I take the princess's behavior so seriously. Maybe that's the queen's bedroom, although I didn't really see a queen down there. You can go here and rest if you want to. Um, I'm good, though. I'm probably going to rest off screen. I'm not going to deal with it right now. But anyway, that's all that we can do over here. So now let's continue exploring the rest of the castle. If you go out to the right, uh, we're going to be on the second floor of the castle over here, and I'm just going to hit the high points, like I said. Just get the treasure and get out, because this place is insane. Get a thousand gold right there. And now we're going to head downstairs. And if you head downstairs again, there's kind of like a little box maze over here, which is kind of neat and cool. Um, but there's really nothing to get here or see or do. It's just kind of there, so you can talk to these people, and they're like playing hide-and-seek or something. You know, it's just kind of a neat little... Edition. It reminds me of Super Mario RPG and Booster's Tower, where there was kind of something. Uh, I guess it would be kind of similar to that. But uh, anyway, now we're going to go over here this way, out into the courtyard, and into this little gazebo, I guess, to get some more treasure. There's a treasure chest right here, kind of hidden, a force seed. Nice. And I love these little Christmas trees with the stars on top. It's cute. And a speed seed. Awesome. So we grab all that. And then I want to head this way. This is the bodyguard. Yeah, she says that she's brave and loud. And then this bodyguard says that she's strong and mean. And then this guy says, We're thinking about making a song for you so you won't forget about our princess if something horrible was to happen. Well, we know that she's loud and mean and strong and brave. So that's pretty much it. That's all we really need to know. Anyway, head on in here, get some meat. And I think that that is it. 
I'm pretty sure that that's it as far as the treasures are concerned. Uh, let's see, is there anything in here? Oh, wait, is it downstairs? No, there's nothing downstairs, I don't think. I think that there's one more treasure. If not, I'm just gonna cut out all of this of me looking like an idiot. But, okay, yeah, no, there's, that's it, that's it, that's it, isn't it? Hmm, let me just double check that one little area, because I think that there might have been a treasure over here. Was there, was there, was there? No, there was not. And that lady actually says nothing. She just kind of does like a dot, dot, dot sort of thing to you. So yeah, okay, that's it for the uh, treasures. So next thing that we have to do uh, around here is we are going to get out of this castle as quickly as humanly possible since I wasted so much time uh, looking around for that treasure that wasn't even there. Okay, this is the exit. Yeah, follow that brown carpet when in doubt. And we're gonna head down to the docks. I don't know why they made this place like so ridiculously overly complex. It's just kind of crazy how complex they made Roma. And it's just needlessly complex because no other towns are like this. Um, I guess they wanted kind of one mazy town, but hey, there you go. Okay, so this is the way to the Steel Devil. And let's just head on inside and get into a battle. Yeah, here we have some maracas. They have 245 HP. They're not difficult. None of the enemies here are pretty difficult, I've got to say. But one thing that you will find is that all the enemies are um, musically themed. Just like everything in Roma was musically themed, all the enemies are also musically themed. So, yeah. Whenever I call this place Tunlin, it's really no exaggeration. Yeah, a 7 to Kai. Like, seriously? Come on, man. You could do better than that. Well, no, you can't because you're dead. So, there you go. Easy enough. Ooh, Panther level 4. Hey, nice. Okay, so keep on moving and grooving right along. This place can get pretty wide. And whenever I say wide, I mean that, um, you know, it, it'll be difficult to see all of the, um, all of the screen because the path gets very wide. So, um, it's hard to see all the treasures in the particular area that you're at. So, just be cognizant of that. Anyway, these guys are the Death Trumpets, and they have 232 HP, and they are not difficult at all. So, there you go. Again, nothing's all that hard here. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess the game knows that you only have, you know, uh, uh, Pietro and Kai, so it's not going to throw too much at you, considering that Kim Dan Doji left. And here we have the Evil Castanets. They have 226 HP, and they actually hit harder than the other guys, which is kind of shocking, I've got to say. Can I get them all with the Slicing Wind? I can! Awesome! Can I kill them all with the Slicing Wind? I can't. I almost can, but no such luck. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll have Kai kick their asses. Yeah, I don't want to... Well, it doesn't really matter if I waste too much MP. Uh, before I left, I... You may have noticed at the very beginning of the uh, of this little dungeon, this little transitional area that we're in right now, that um, there was a little cut there because I ran back to the castle and I uh, rested in that free inn place over near the uh, king's room, and I also got a um, I also saved my game there too. We'll get fifteen hundred gold, and over here we get a poison jewel which I will never use. And those death trumpets can confuse you as well, so be on the lookout for that. It's not a big deal, but it's there. Okay, here we have the Phantom Harps. They have 238 HP, and as you can see, they can put you to sleep. Uh, hopefully it doesn't work. We shall see. Ooh, it worked on Kai, so that sucks. Oh, please don't put Pietro to sleep. Please, for the love of God, don't put him to sleep. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay, so let's see. Oh, is she not asleep? Oh, she's paralyzed or something. It looks like she's paralyzed because I can't really move her and her range on her Firebird is a little bit less than it should be, which is kind of odd. But hopefully the Firebird will kill these Phantom Harps because they are annoying. Sweet. So I wonder why she's not asleep. I mean, it's a haunting lullaby. You would think that that would put you to sleep. It is a lullaby after all. Oh my God. You know what, actually, since it's just you, and I can probably just kill you outright in one blow, we'll just do that. Oh, no. Come on, Pietro. You can do the better. Seriously? Seriously? Um, no, Dolphin's not going to work. What about Dino? Can I hit him with Dino? No. Do I have to use another Firebird? Oh, it's not going to hit. Okay, you can just hang out here. Yeah, focus, whatever. I don't care. 
And there you go. Well, that's them. We have one more enemy to uh, check out in here. So hopefully we run into it. Um, it would be nice. Anyway, down here there's a treasure. And let's see what we got here. 420 gold. Okay. And then head over to the right over here to grab a forest twig. And even more stuff. What do you have here? A magic seed. And up here we have the panacea. Nice. So that should be it for all the treasures, but there's still one enemy around here that I want to run into before I head into the next area. So I may have to do that off screen because the next area is right here. So yeah, let me find that new enemy real quick. Okay, it is about time. This steel or foul drum guy right here. He took like 20 battles to find. I cannot believe how uh, rare the guy is and he really shouldn't even be that rare. I mean, he's... Just a, nothing special about him, just like any other little monster here. He's musically themed, and he doesn't really do anything all that special. So I don't know why he's so, uh, you know, such a pain in the ass to find. Although I must say that their attacks got pretty powerful pretty quick, honestly. So let's go ahead and uh, just kick their asses and get rid of them. He's a fire bro and he's evil castanets. And, uh, yeah, then move on and, man, because... I, I cannot believe this, like, how many times I had to fight different battles. But I kept on kind of resetting so I didn't get, you know, too overleveled. Um, but yeah, so that's annoying to say the least. So I'm going to meet you back uh, where I was previously. Okay, let's head on inside the next area. And this is Pola Pola Village, which we will explore next time on Let's Play Pupple LaCroix. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day!